Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome everyone if you're new. <laughs> I have no idea what I look like. <clears throat> All right, radio. Thank you. It is like eight o'clock. Yeah, I am up early and already running errands because we got a lot of stuff to do today. I haven't even edited the vlog from last night or what I'm gonna put up for um, for footage because I went to bed last night at like a decent hour, like pretty much as soon as we got home, but I'll explain more of that later. But I left my sunglasses in my husband's truck and it stuck so bad. All right, I gotta drive. Okay, so I'm back from Walmart. I just had to go and get um, some disposable pans um because i'm making i'm bringing a dish for the potluck for after the funeral and hold on and i always hate bringing my own dish because i just don't want to deal with the hassle so um i just finished my vlog from yesterday wrapping that up i have so much to do today and like it's already 905 i'm feeling really stressed out uh, i just don't know how i'm gonna get everything done now i have to I'm gonna have to edit yesterday's vlog, get it posted. Um, I need to shine his shoes. I need to shine his boots. I need to. Um, I need to make the pinwheels, and I think that's everything. And then he needs to come home, and we need to get on the road because it's a drive. So, and then he invited his mom last night, and I don't know if she's coming or not, and. So that's just like another piece of the puzzle that I have to try to figure out. So the first thing I need to do is cut off some rag from this shirt. Because I'm a genius. Am I, can you even see me? Can y'all see me? And since I cleaned the bedroom, I got rid of all of like our socks and stuff. Like the old socks. I should have kept a couple for rags. That's okay. I haven't finished cleaning my closet yet, so there's still some clothes in there that I don't wear anymore. <sighs> and I apologized in the other vlog, uh, but just in case you haven't seen it, or you didn't hear it, or I, maybe I edited it out because it didn't look good. Um, I apologize for the, uh, the, vlo the vlogs not being... I apologize for the vlogs not being consistent like how they normally are. Uh, unfortunately, when there's a death, things just schedule kind of gets thrown out the window. And so our normal routine and everything is is not what's happening. <laughs> We're just and having to do lots of extra things. And of course, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to vlog at a funeral or any of the funeral activities cuz that's tacky. So, uh, I had a bad dream last night, guys. Um, for those who are watching this that aren't family and close friends already, um, my grandma has cancer, and um, unfortunately, I had a dream about her and her health. Now, I will say that she. Um, is doing very well, uh, at least the last update that I've heard from the family. Um, she's put on weight, and she her appetite's back, and, you know, she's her numbers are looking good, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know where this dream got its information from, but I had a dream that, you know, she had passed away, which... It was really sad. I mean, I was like, I woke up really sad. And so for a family that's watching this, I'm sorry. Because that was like, y'all probably didn't want to hear that. Scary dream. Alright, I need to... You know, honestly, I've never shined boots before. So hopefully I do this, I do this good. I don't think I have to shine the whole thing. I just need to do like this part. Right? I don't know. I don't want to leave. Normally I'd leave it on and give you all a cool, you know, montage of me shining the boots. Because I know. Everyone loves montages. 
but I gotta conserve battery because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to charge it again. So let me shine these boots up. So I'm bringing uh, pinwheel sandwiches to the um, to the little dinner that we're gonna have. So I've got these giant um, tortillas. I have some chive and onion cream cheese. It's gonna go on the bottom, and then I'm doing two different types. Or I might do four, depending on how much time I have. I have black forest ham and pepper jack cheese. And I have turkey and cheddar. Um, so, and then I have the two disposable pans. I got my cutting board knife, little spatula for the cream cheese. Um, so, I think I might, my plan is to do the four, like, ham, cheddar, turkey, do, 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 like that, or whatever. Um, but it just depends on how much time I have. It's 10 o'clock. And my husband should be home no later than 11. So let's. Okay, it's 10 till 11. I just finished up. Here are the turkey cheddar. And here is the ham and pepper jack. They both are with the cream cheese. So I guess maybe I should start getting ready. And hopefully, Jonathan. Hopefully, Jonathan's on his way home. You have problems over there? Yes. Would you like some help? Yes. Okay. Hold this. With that hand, because first of all, that's the hand I'm doing. Which button? This button? Uh, first one. Yeah. Now he's looking at my boot. I think boots are weird for him. <laughs> oh, that button too? Mm -hmm. Um, What are you doing there with the camera? It's recording. No. My love! Stop it. Oh, jackass. Okay. Oh, both of them. <laughs> okay. My forearms are too muscular. <laughs> you gonna bust out? Probably good. What are you eating? <laughs> hey, cut the shit. Drop it. All right. Thank you. Welcome. Camera's crooked. <laughs> okay, I thought it was bad before. It's so bad now that it sounds like it's raining. Because they're hitting the windshield. That's pretty disgusting. All the bugs. So we're almost home. It was a nice time. I mean, it's a funeral, so they're never the best circumstances. But it's nice to get together with people that you never see nearly enough. Yeah. Hey. Good to see everybody. It was good fellowship time. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Got to meet. I got to meet a lot of Jonathan's friends from like high school and stuff that I've never met before. Everyone was really nice, so that was a positive from the experience. Yep. Yeah. I think we're just ready to go home and relax and just. It's been a long couple days. Yeah, it's been it's been a long week. I'm ready for things to kind of get get back to normal. Yeah. I'm off on our all of our routines and stuff, so. Yeah. It's been it's been a rough couple days. We're gonna go home and see the doggies. Yep. Change our clothes and try to figure out what to do for dinner. Hey. What? Inappropriate. There's like 10 people that watch this stuff. <laughs> hey, I have 18 subscribers now. <laughs> it was very hot. We were in the middle of nowhere. Um, like I said, I did want to vlog. Obviously, that'd be super inappropriate. If it was my family, I would have. Not like camera in the face, but I would have like I would have videotaped some of it. Yeah. At least for posterity purposes. Yeah. But not for people that I don't really know that well. I'm not gonna be like epic montage. <laughs> I I don't think that's uh, appropriate. No, not at all. No. So yeah, we're out in the middle of nowhere and hot as balls. It was really hot. But you had to dress kind of for country, so jeans and boots and 
John's friend Jeff is the is his mom that passed away. Her name was Sybil, and um, I got to learn a little bit about her. Like she didn't like to be late, and she didn't like for people to have to wait on her. And then. <laughs> They were an hour late. They were like an hour late, the hearse arriving with her. And then so people were joking saying that she was definitely not happy and she was definitely she was cursing them for making her late to her own funeral. She was <laughs> So she was um, she definitely be pissed off. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it was but it gave everyone time to talk and stuff. So I mean but it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> but of course it was a beautiful ceremony. I saw a butterfly. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now we're almost home. Okay, it's late o'clock and Jonathan just went to bed. So we got home and just so tired and so ready to just change into some pajamas, relax on the couch with the pups. But we walked in the door and the smell of dog poop just like slapped me in the face and I was like, oh man, the dog pooped in his kennel. So I, you can't, when you walk in our door, you can't see the kennel because there's a big like pillar thing. So I walk around the pillar and... He didn't just poop in his kennel, he had explosive diarrhea in his kennel. Uh, so, after a really long day being super tired, Jonathan had a headache. I was, you know, borderline getting a headache, just wanting to relax. We had to deal with a poopy dog in a poopy kennel. So, that was fun. But I feel bad for the dog, because I mean... Dogs don't poop in their kennels. Like, they don't want to be stuck, you know, with their poop. So, I know that it was totally an accident and, you know, it was a situation that he just couldn't control and that's unfortunately, that's going to happen sometimes. But, you know, that that's what's going to, I, I feel like situations like that um, prepare John and I for being parents because... Our kids are going to poop and they're going to throw up and we're going to have to clean it up. And it's going to be at the most inconvenient time and we just have to suck it up and deal with it like we did today. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that thumbs up button for me please and leave any comments or questions down below and I will see you next time. Bye.